We have breaking news at 10. We want to get right out to parents. The Adams 12 five star school district just sent out this letter tonight to families revealing a dramatic surge in tips, warning of threats and safety concerns tomorrow, the day of the national student walkouts. Good evening and thank you for, so much for joining us. I'm Andrew Heal and I'm Jacqueline Allen. Here's what we know at this hour. The district says it has received more than 40 tips to the anonymous safe to tell program involving all five of its high schools. And while the district would not elaborate about the nature of the threats, they are asking parents to have conversations with their students about the decision to walk out. The district made clear the safest place to be tomorrow is inside school buildings. Now we've called around to Douglas County, Jefferson County and Denver Public School Districts. None is reporting increased threats for tomorrow. And these threats are timed with tomorrow's national call for action with students across the country and across our state planning to walk out of class. We have seen no shortage of opinions about these students message and their delivery of it. So tonight as part of our commitment to present you multiple views we go 360 on tomorrow's national school walkout hard to believe it's been one month since the florida high school shooting that claimed so many lives but that tragedy is galvanizing young people in a way we haven't seen in a long time we always think someone's got to do it well i'm someone emmy adams is a golden high school senior helping organize jeffco's protest tomorrow she says it's past time for common sense gun control i hope the message is sent that we are here we won't be silenced we are going to make a change and we won't back down until that change is made. Let's go 360 for another perspective. In my opinion, walking out of school is very disruptive. Um, for the kids that do choose to stay in class. Kim Crossland is a Longmont mom who wants her kids to stay in school tomorrow, but she plans to protest in their place with the Parents Step Up movement. I feel like if you agree with your children walking out of school, you should be there with them and standing up with them. And I think that if you agree that it's your child's job to be in school, that you should stand up there and stand up for them and let them do their job. Another voice in the debate remembers these protests in 2014, East High School in Denver. Former Denver police officer John Adsit was hit by a car while trying to keep students walking in the streets safe. He's since undergone 30 surgeries. My message is a call to action for safety. While he says he supports the First Amendment right to protest, he sent a letter to Douglas County Schools, where his children go, asking them to take action against illegal activity, like walking in the middle of the street. I think that there should be consequences. What do you think should happen? I, I think that it should be no tolerance. Another view is trending, hashtag walk up, not out, suggesting instead of walkouts, students should walk up to fellow students, get to know them. But is that enough? It might help build community, and that is a positive thing. But change comes, as we've seen in previous generations, when there is mass voice coming together to express discontent. CU Denver professor Carlos Ippolito Delgado studies youth voice and sociopolitical development. His research shows youth who become civically engaged in protests like these actually do better in school. This is a tremendous learning opportunity. And the more engaged these students become in these types of activities now, the more they'll be engaged as adults. Okay, and several school districts have put out statements today stressing safety. For example, Jeffco saying student action will be respected, but safety and order must be maintained. And this is a conversation we will be having over the next 24 hours as the walkouts take place. So we want to hear from you. People are already lighting up Facebook. You can email us at 360 at thedenverchannel.com, and we will be sure to follow up tomorrow.